Hi friends, Sparklet here. Today we are walking around Meluzhi. Meluzhi is part of the city of Yurmala. It's located between other similar parts of Yurmala, Bulduri and Asari. I'm in Yurmala again, but today we are on the different beach, which is called Meluzhi. Uh, this part of the beach called a uh, kind of passive, not active and people are not allowed loud music uh, restaurants uh, you know loud activities here is calm beach you are more with nature swimming enjoying uh, weather and sun and dunes and pine forest which which is located along the beach as you see there and uh, it's really nice here it might look at the beginning that beach is dirty with different type of seaweeds but it's in fact healthy look at the sun beautiful it's very nice yes very soft unusual I don't think I've, I saw such a sun somewhere else beside Yurmala Beach. It's really, I, you know, after the storm, you can find umber here. Oh, good. We should do that sometime. Yeah. After the big storm, maybe. Come out early in the morning with flashlights. No, just after the storm and uh, find the big piles of seaweeds and check out them oh okay it's hiding in the seaweed yes did you ever find any like that huh did you ever find any yes, amber that I was, way i was many times but mostly not in the in the bay here not in riga bay but in the open sea near Bensbils and leopard sea where it's like baltic sea all there right the bay not so much amber here I don't know if I'm gonna swim. I wanted to swim when it was very hot, but now I feel more relaxed. Probably I will get in the water at midnight. All right, very good. Despite the fact that Meluzhi is a little farther from Riga than the most popular holiday destinations in Yurmala, Bulduri and Mayuri, in summer there is no shortage of vacationers. <laughs> A significant part of the permanent residents of Yurmala lives in Meluzhi. The development of residential buildings stretches right from the Meluzhi railway station in the witch towards Lielupa river, almost to the very bank of the river. Meluzhi got its Latvian name from the local farmhouses, but its former name was Karlsbad after the bathing place of the same name founded by Baron Karl von Fuchs. On the other hand, the local name Meluzhi probably comes from the word Melene, in English blueberry, which was very abundant in the local forests. The oldest name was returned to Meluzhi in 1918. In the past, Meluzhi was located on the lands of the Firks, the owners of Nurmuija, and its inhabitants were engaged in fishing. Land plots for summer residents began to be allocated after 
Carl Firx built a cultural and entertainment center in Malushi in 1827. In 1904-1905, the first Latvian performances took place here. Today, the stage is mainly used for non-commercial events, admission to which is free. I love this part of Jurmala because it's calm, it's um, clean. I love this walking bare feet on the sand and uh, many pine trees along the beach, beautiful yellow sandy dunes, no loud music playing on the beach like in the active zone and uh, calm, happy people. The more rapid development of the resort began after the opening of the Riga Tukams Railway in 1872. In 1881, guests bathing in the Meloji Dunes were received by the bathhouse with warm seawater, which belonged to Zalskals Eisenberg. In 1884, at Wozolo Street, a health camp for girls was opened, founded by the Red Cross. In the summer, teachers stopped in Meloji. After the First World War, in guidebooks and descriptions until the 1930s, the area was recommended for lovers of a relaxing holiday. In 1986, a house of composers was built on Meloju Avenue. Meloji and Asri have always been relatively quiet and peaceful places for renting summer cottages to modest citizen, cultural figures and teachers. Composers Emil Darzinch and Alfred Kalnich, writer Rudolf Blaumannis, artist Janis Rosenthal's, directors, poets and other creative people lived here. like and subscribe to my channel, watch, walk with me, learn new things and live an interesting life, your Sparklet.